now that seems like a really long time um, <laughs> and maybe enough to put you off. Hi, so today I'm going to be looking at the cost of our solar power system and how long it will take to pay for itself. My name is Rachel, I live here off grid with my family and a big part of that is the solar power system which takes care of most of our electricity needs alongside a generator as well. I'm sure that over the past few days and weeks you'll have seen in the news that energy prices are soaring. Um, it's been really shocking to hear that prices might be doubling. Um, and a lot of people have been asking us about the cost of our solar power system and how long we think it will take for it to pay for itself. So today we're just going to go through a few calculations that we've made in order to work out exactly how long we think that would take and um, hopefully it will be useful. So there's a few different ways that we can work it out. One of the simplest ways is to take the average bill of a household um, and to use that. So with a little bit of research online, I found that the average cost of electricity for a small house, that's a one to two bedroom house, is 795 pounds a year. So the cost of our solar power system was around 22,300 pounds. So if we take that 795 pounds and we divide our total of 22,300 pounds by that, that gives us a breakdown of about 28 years. Now that seems like a really long time. Um, <laughs> and maybe enough to put you off of going for an off-grid system over sticking with the tariff, but we'll come back to that in a minute. We're hoping one day to upgrade to a bigger house um, and that will make a big difference when it comes to whether or not our solar power system was a good investment. We designed it for a house of that size and so it shouldn't need too much doing to it in order to be able to cope with a house of that size. So if you have a much bigger house then it might mean that the statistics are a little bit different for you. For example, a five bedroom house, they say the average electricity bill is £1,639. Breaking down our system um, by that amount, uh, that means that our system would pay for itself in 13, just over 13 and a half years. That's a big difference. Um, and so, that makes it a lot more um, a lot more viable and I'll put these breakdowns in the description below so that you can have a look uh, for three four bedroom houses middle sized houses small houses large houses and you can compare the cost of our system to uh, the cost of having a house that size so that's a very general calculation and um, we felt that it was probably more useful to look at our actual usage at the moment and to see whether or not um, the investment in solar would be a good idea for um, the amount that we actually use. We had a look at our usage and we focused on November, which was actually our highest amount of usage so far in the months that we've had the solar power system up and running. And we used 315.41 kilowatt hours. So if we take the general average tariff, which is about 16 pence per kilowatt hour, and we work out how much it would cost us a month to pay for that electricity on grid, that gives us a total of 605 pounds a year, which seems like a really small amount. So that really isn't good for our cal the calculation that we were doing earlier, where we take that amount and divide our total cost by that amount. Um, that would mean it would be nearly 37 years to pay off the cost of our solar power system. However, and I feel this is a really big however, the headlines that we've had in the news over the past few weeks is not suggesting that the prices are going to stay still. And this is the reason that people have been asking us about the cost of our solar and whether or not we think it has been a really good investment. If prices continue to double and continue to rise in the way that they're predicted to rise, then that is a big game changer for whether or not it is a good use of our money. So for example, that small house goes from being 28 years to 14 years before it pays for itself. And the larger house, which we're hoping to have in future, goes from being 13 years to six and a half years. That's if prices double. And that's predicted over the next year or so. So it is something that we have to take into account. If you have the money for the first outlay, and it is a big outlay, and if you can install solar power, a solar power system, then at least you know that what you have put in place is going to eventually pay for itself and you won't still be beholden to those price hikes that are, we're seeing in the news at the moment. Of course, for us, this argument is completely irrelevant. Um, we live a really long way from the grid. Um, we had to factor in the potential cost of joining the grid, which is a massive difference to just deciding whether or not to come off grid. So for us, it made more sense to go off grid than not. Um, Firstly, it's that big outlay of joining the grid. And secondly, it's the fact that by being off grid, you have that freedom. And whilst you have to balance that with the responsibility of dealing with your system and installing your system, um, 
at least you have that freedom and you're not beholden to those prices. If you'd like any more information on the cost of our solar power system, we have got a video on it, so I'll put a link in the description below. Also, there are links to the videos on how we installed the solar power system and the components that we used, so I'll put the links in the description for that as well. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please consider subscribing to our channel. We'll be posting a lot more videos about our solar power system and also our off-grid life in general. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Oh,